In the realm of self-defense, a significant number of experts will recommend that people should use powerful defensive pistols. The more power there is to the gun, the more protection that it can provide. Of course, the logic makes sense, right? However, some shooters aren't too comfortable with this setup. For them, the felt recoil is also a factor in choosing a self-defense handgun, which is also a sensible thought. I mean, I can't really push you to use an explosive handgun if you aren't comfortable or equipped to deal with its recoil or muzzle rise. Here, your option is narrowed to low recoil weapons. Hello everyone, this is Zeke. In this video, I have listed all the best low recoil defensive handguns on the market today. Stick until the end so that you'll know your options. By the way, this list is in no particular order. Before we start, make sure that you hit the like and subscribe buttons. It helps the channel a lot. Now let's get back to the video. Browning Black Label 1911 380. John Browning has a massive influence on the world of firearms. He invented a lot of great guns and cartridges. Among them are the Model 1911 and the 380 ACP cartridge. Browning, the gun manufacturing company, thought that it was a brilliant idea to mix those two together and that gave birth to an unusual but highly effective self-defense gun, the Black Label 1911-380. However, keep in mind that this weapon isn't a pocketed pistol as compared to other handguns on this list. Instead, it is a downsized semi-automatic pistol. But it's not that small either. I can say that it's just 25% smaller than the original Model 1911. Since it is chambered in 380 ACP, it fires smoothly. It's not a 45 ACP, so it's quite merciful to its users. Power-wise, the Black Label 1911-380 is already sufficient to fend off your aggressors. Ruger LC-380 The Ruger LC-380 is a lightweight, compact pistol. It has a slim profile that lets you fit it inside your pocket or holster. It has a similar size to the highly popular EC-9, its key difference from the EC9 is its recoil. Needless to say, its kick has been tamed. So that's a plus for those who don't want an explosive self-defense gun. This soft shooting gun features a checkered grip frame. In this way, you can clutch it with stability and comfort. Even in wet conditions, you will be able to hold the weapon securely. The Ruger LC380 boasts a rugged architecture. It's among the most reliable pocket pistols that you can get. It has a hardened steel slide paired with a single-piece, glass-filled nylon frame. The elements won't be able to compromise this gun easily. You'll also love its blued alloy steel barrel. Meanwhile, this unit comes along with a finger grip extension foreplate. You have the option to add it to the gun's magazine for enhanced grip and comfort. The sights of the Ruger LC380 are quite impressive. Specifically, it comes with fixed front sight and drift adjustable rear sight. They enable quick target acquisition regardless of the visibility. Regardless of the visibility. Furthermore, the Ruger LC380 is equipped with numerous safety features. Specifically, it comes with a manual safety, internal lock, and magazine disconnect. There's also a patented loaded chamber indicator that lets you see if the chamber is loaded or empty. Ruger LCP2 Light Rack the next stop is the Ruger LCP-2 Light Rack. Similar to other handguns in this list, the LCP-2 Light Rack is a highly functional handgun that doesn't threaten its users with massive recoil. Technically speaking, micro pistols that are chambered in 380 ACP cartridges are snappy. That seems to be a recurring case. Because of this, Ruger decided to make an LCP weapon in 22 LR. This birthed the Ruger LCP-2 Light Rack. Notably, Ruger mentioned that this handgun is a training weapon, but there's nothing wrong if you are going to use it as a concealed carry weapon. I don't see any problems with that. Alternatively, you can use this weapon for practice and pick the standard 380 LCP as your self-defense weapon. But of course, that's up to you. Many recommend the Ruger LCP-2 light rack for shooters who don't like excessive recoil. It's easy to control as it doesn't yield too much power, but at the same time, you shouldn't downplay the 22. It is still a reliable caliber for self-defense, and it still has the power to penetrate the flesh, causing critical damage. In a small gun like this Ruger handgun, the 22 round will produce this effect minus the kick. As a result, control over the weapon isn't a problem. Furthermore, it has a 10 plus 1 capacity, 
which adds to its overall effectiveness. When unloaded, this unit is just 12 ounces. Smith & Wesson Model 351C The J-frame revolvers are a highly popular weapon of Smith & Wesson. They offer exceptional reliability, durability, and firepower. But then again, they also bring some recoil, which isn't favorable for some users. Because of this issue, Smith & Wesson created a version of these J-frame revolvers that don't kick too much. And that's in the form of the Smith & Wesson Model 351C. This particular revolver is a concealed carry weapon. Its barrel length is just 1.87 inches. When unloaded, the gun is just 11 ounces. With these specifications, you can easily tuck the gun into your purse or pocket. The J-frame revolvers are commonly chambered in 357 mag and 38 special cartridges. Both of these cartridges are powerful, and they send a lot of recoil. Meanwhile, the Smith & Wesson Model 351C is chambered in the 22 mag. Hence, you can expect that it doesn't have a harrowing kick. By the way, its barrel prevents the rimfire cartridge from generating high velocity, as compared to handguns with longer barrels. Because of this, many experts think that the combination of the gun's design and ammo don't match well, especially in the context of efficiency. Specifically, they think that the revolver might be too light. But hey, if you can hit your targets properly, that shouldn't be an issue. Fortunately, this weapon offers an outstanding degree of accuracy. This is a Smith & Wesson gun after all. FNH 57 MK2 Another option that you have for a low recoil self-defense handgun is the FNH 57 MK2. This unit was manufactured with the intention of providing users with the utmost convenience. It has a simple operation, making it a great weapon for defending yourself in emergencies and tough situations. Moreover, the gun has a lightweight design. You will never be burdened, even if you're going to carry it throughout the day. It's a pocket pistol, but you can always purchase a holster for it. However, the stripping of its weight adding components didn't compromise its overall functionality and comfort. It still works just fine. Additionally, the control of the FNH 57 MK2 isn't quirky. Even amateur shooters would be able to shoot this gun properly. For instance, its slide can be cycled smoothly. Unlike other handguns here, this pistol is chambered in a 5.7 by 28 mm cartridge. This is a more powerful round than the 22 lr but at the same time, you'll be surprised that the 5.7 by 28 mm only has moderate recoil. It doesn't kick like a mule. Based on tests, the FNH 57 MK2 can fire 31 grain bullets at 2,350 FPS, enabling it to generate 390 foot-pounds of energy. Such firepower is already enough to take down your aggressors. Furthermore, this handgun has 10 and 20 round magazines. You can also purchase a separate 30 round extended magazine for non-stop action. If there's a downside to this handgun, it would be its price. The MSRP of the FNH 57 MK2 is $1,300. But since it has a perfect balance between recoil, maneuverability, and power, it is indeed a wonderful investment. Keltec PMR30 one of the best options you have for a low recoil handgun is the Keltec PMR30. This weapon possesses a moderate kick, which should be bearable even for new shooters. Moreover, this gun has a weight that you can easily manage. If fully loaded, this unit only weighs roughly 20 ounces. At the same time, the Keltec PMR30 has a full size grip, ensuring that various users can control and shoot it comfortably. Even if you have large hands, you can hold this gun without feeling any discomfort. Furthermore, the Keltec PMR30 has a light and smooth trigger pull, which is a great deal for defensive handguns. It lets you fire quickly during pressing situations. Interestingly, its slide also has a seamless operation. The Keltec PMR30 has been equipped with burly fiber optic sights for faster target acquisition, so that's a plus. If these features aren't enough, then this pistol guarantees almost non-existent recoil. Of course, this isn't surprising given that it has been chambered in a 22 mag cartridge. However, we all know the 22 mag has a minimal stopping power. Hence, its biggest strength is also its biggest downside. Fortunately, this is somewhat offset by the gun's extensive capacity. Specifically, this handgun holds a 30 plus 1 capacity, 
Well, if you can't beat them with force, you simply have to beat them with numbers. And that completes our list. If you want to see more informative videos like this, just click the subscribe button and notification bell. Take care and stay safe.